All right, we are streaming live. I'm just going to pull it up on my other computer screen here so that I can see anybody hopping in on Facebook Live while we're doing this. And then we're going to jump straight into this training. Okay. We are good. I always look so funny in the thumbnails on these things. All right, so we are going to record to the cloud. All right. Hey, Ella. I just saw you hopped in. Um, okay. Wearing my sassy pants today, ladies. So here we go. <laughs> As you all know, I am having a baby very soon. So there is literally going to be a lot of straight talk and a lot of do you want actual steps to get where you want to go? Uh, so that's what today is going to be all about. Um, because a lot of you are saying, you know, I have this great idea for my business and I want to do all these things, but at the end of the day, you don't know how to sign clients is what you're, a lot of you are telling me. And so today we're going to talk a lot about shifting your mindset from being self-employed or being an employee in the past into a CEO role. Because if you truly believe that there is real work that needs to be done in order to sign clients, then you're off on a completely different start and completely different footing than if you think that there's some magical solution to make this happen. So today's going to feel like tough love, but please understand that I need it with the best of intention. I want to frame this in terms of like, what's the real work that you need to do to set yourself up for success. And so we're going to dive into obviously the mindset around that. We're going to dive into the strategy of how you can actually sign five clients in 30 days. And then we're going to talk about the action steps that need to happen, that need to follow for the next four weeks for that to be a reality. So today is October 21st, one month from now, let's call it uh, November 21st. What would it feel like to have five new clients enrolled in your business? I think for most of you, it would be amazing. You need a cash injection right now, right? You need a confidence boost. You need to start really working with people. The benefit of landing a bunch of clients is that it's not just about the money. It's also about the fact that you start to understand your process better and your ability better and how you get results for clients more. And there's so many, there's so many pieces of this business that we can't learn except by going through it and experiencing it. And that is something that most people will not tell you about. So when we go to school and we get good grades and we come out with a degree and we get a good job, that's the process that we think we can translate over into online business, but it doesn't work like that because nobody is out there hiring you to come in because of your degree, meaning just because you've taken courses or done whatever you've done, they're not hiring you just because of that. There's no entry, base level entry point for somebody to say, yeah, sure, come work for my company. So we have to get out of this idea that we should just be able to make money just because we know that what we are good at, you know, like we're good at something. We have to get back to the fact that when you're in your own business, you have to know how to sell. And that doesn't mean you have to be a salesperson. Hey, Haley, I just saw you jumped in. It means you need to understand how to build relationships and solve problems for people. And so how do we do that? Well, we actually have to go out and find out what it is that they want or what it is that they want solved. And then we need to figure out where to meet them in the middle with what we know how to do and how we know how to help them so that we can offer them something. So a lot of the times you'll hear people say, you know, a sale is like an energetic exchange. And so we often use money as the currency because if, if somebody shows up and teaches you something, the energetic exchange on the other side, you know, back in the day would be like, here's a loaf of bread and I'll trade you for half a pound of butter. The same kind of idea is um, that's that's the base of all sales. It's just that we choose to use money and then money has all these other negative connotations about it and this whole other side that we get lost in and we struggle with and we think it's so hard to make money. And at the end of the day, it's like we need to find what somebody needs and what we do that can solve that. And then we need to put those together so that that person has the chance to hire you. So another mindset thing that I want to dive into really quick before we get into more strategy as a lot of you are saying, I can't find clients who are willing to invest in themselves, or I can't, I can't, um, like, I don't understand why people aren't buying, or I don't understand. Um, the biggest one is I can't, I can't get people to invest in themselves. And if that is something that you feel like, if you're hearing crickets on all your stuff, or you literally have been talking to people 
but they're just not willing to take the next step. And you feel like it's just like, oh, well, they can't afford it. They don't, those people don't have money. You know, that's not actually true for the majority of people. If somebody wants a solution to a problem, they generally can find the money to go solve it. So these are thoughts that we choose to think because money is involved. Well, a lot of moms refuse to invest in themselves. Well, that might be true, but if they actually have a problem they want solved, then they're shortcutting that pain train and they're willing to pay for that. Um, so what I wanted to say though, is if you, this has been a, a feedback actually this week from a few of you who have said, I can't find clients who want to invest in themselves. And what I would say to that is what my mentor told me, which clearly articulated it for me. And I want to share it, which is the Coast Guard analogy. When you go out as a Coast Guard and you go to like a, a shipwreck or a, you know, any kind of an accident that's happened out at sea, you know, there's way too many people out in the water floating around to save everyone. And so they have to make decisions. Who do we save first? And they always go to the people who are swimming towards the boat. So let that kind of just sink in for a second. If you feel like you can't find people who want your services or you can't find people who want to invest in themselves or you can't find this or you can't find that, it means you're trying to go out and help everyone and you get into convincing energy. And you don't want to be convincing people to try to work with you. That's the worst kind of energy to be in when you're expecting an energetic exchange. It's going to be fun for both of you. Um, you want to be literally going out and serving people who are swimming towards you. So meaning stop talking to people who are half interested in solving their problem, could half ass use what you have to offer. Do you know what I mean? Go after the people who are like, I have this problem. I need it solved. Who can I hire to help me? right? So my training today is not product-based. Um, a lot of you have asked me, is this for product-based businesses? No. Is this for MLM? No. Those are different animals. A sales process is the same. You attract, you nurture, you convert, of course. And the length of time that that happens in usually has something to do with the type of product that you're selling or service and the price point, for sure. So at a very high level, yes, sales process is all the same. But when I'm talking about how you go sign five clients in 30 days, I'm talking about service-based entrepreneurs and coaches specifically, because I know this works because that's my field, right? So for those of you who have been around for the Breakthrough Challenge this whole way through, this is the fifth training, I think, fifth, sixth, second bonus training. I talk over and over about going out and doing the real work that moves the needle in your business. And so today I am not going to blow smoke up your ass and I am not going to give you any kind of fluffy crap about attraction marketing and how if you just post and, you know, put it out into the world, it manifests because I don't believe that. I don't believe that's true. I do believe that we can put things out and have, we have to hold belief. And I do believe that we can be in alignment and things will start to line up. But I don't believe that you can sit on the couch and eat a sandwich and manifest a million dollars. That's not something I believe. I believe you still have to go out and do the work that allows you to pull in the people or the opportunities or the circumstances that make a million dollars possible for you. And eating a sandwich to me is not one of those things. So I know that sounds ridiculous, but there's so much, there's so much noise out there and there's so much information out there where we are being told or taught that, you know, making money online is just simple and easy. Well, simple maybe, but not easy. So we have to go out and build the connections, build the relationships and talk to real freaking people first. And the reason we need to do that is because that's how we get to a point where we can create content that converts or messaging like nails, you know, messaging that, that gets into somebody's head or offers that are irresistible. Everybody's selling those buzzwords right now, but how do you actually get to those places? You don't just go take a course, another freebie or another download or another course that's going to say, here's the exact way to create content that converts because what they are missing, all of those courses, which you know this already because you've already tried all those things. They're missing the process that leads to the information that you actually need to know to get that stuff to work for you. So when they say, you know, you, you want to create a, a beautiful email funnel that just spits out clients on the other side, you're like, yes, that would be great. Let's do that. But you don't know your ideal client well enough to set that up yet. So you have to go back to the basics and do the real work first. So today we're going to talk about a 30 day cash injection strategy for you for your business. And, but you're going to see that everything I've taught over the last five sessions, so this will be the sixth, 
um, they all connect together. It's the same process that we're, we're leading your people through so that you know your ideal client better, so that you understand where she's getting stuck or what she thinks she needs instead of what you know she needs, because those are different things. Remember, we have to sell them what they want, not what they need. But also, that's not supposed to be a malicious marketing tactic. That is just to say some people just don't know what they don't know. So they might not know that they need you. They might not know that um, that you have the solution to their problem in, in the way that you know it because you know what they actually need to go through on the other side to get their stuff done. Like I'm going to sit here and say, okay, my ideal clients are runners. They're not afraid of doing the hard work. They are not afraid to take action, but they just need to know how to focus their efforts to get to where they want to go. And here's the process I can lead them through. But if I stand here and say, you need to learn how to reach out to people in the DMs and do market research. People are like, ah, but I know that's what you need. And now you know that that's what you need because I've talked about it all week. But a lot of people see the difference between me saying, hey, do you want to learn a, a repeatable process to bring in consistent sales in your business? Yes, that's what I want. Okay, now behind the scenes, I know that what you need is to set these few things up, part of this process, so that on the other side, these results spit out, yes. But if I market to you about the actual pieces, a lot of you would have been like, no way, I'm not coming to list, listen or learn about that. But because now you're in my world and you're like, yeah, this actually makes sense. I actually do see the value of going and connecting with real people, hearing exactly what they have to say, hearing in their words how they're struggling with what they're struggling with. It changes the whole game for you. And you will become a thousand times better at online marketing if you actually understand your ideal client and what she wants. So we have to start there. Um, I want to make sure that I stay. I, I wrote notes today because I'm so, I love to go off track. That's my intro. We got to get into this mindset shift where we need to do the real work first. Stop looking for the shortcuts. Stop looking for the magic solutions. Stop looking at the bro marketing tactics that are telling you that all you have to do is, you know, invest in this $12,000 software package and it will spit out millions of dollars on the other side. Like the stuff doesn't work. Like that's not how this is. What I'm going to teach you is how to go out and talk to real people. So you understand your inside, your ideal client inside and out so that you can nail your offer that they want to buy so that you can nail the messaging that attracts them in and pulls them in. Cause don't forget when we talk to real people, we find out the words that they're using to describe what they're struggling with or what they really want so that we can take that message, messaging, the words, and market that to hundreds of other people that are now going to raise their hands and say, hi, yes, this is me too. And now they're coming into your world and now it's a totally different playing field. But it doesn't start like that automatically, right? And we're usually too close to our ideas to understand that other people have no freaking idea what we're talking about. It is clear as day to you what you do and the value you bring. It is clear as mud to everybody else. I promise you that. That is the biggest hurdle that we have to jump over in online marketing is the clarity piece. So whether you're clear or your ideal clients are clear, those two things have to happen. And until they do, the sales are very, very difficult, right? So, okay, where am I? Process for sales, attract, nurture, convert. Seems super simple. So now we're going to talk about what that actually breaks down into. Because you know I teach virtual event strategy. It's my favorite thing. All virtual events for me are always like an anchor to move towards. I said that my big summits are kind of like the lead gen anchors. Because you want a 30-day cash injection right now. You don't have time to run a summit and run a couple of cleanup events. Like the nurturing convert events on the other side. So for any of you who are just joining us. I taught a lot about how to pull in targeted leads quickly by borrowing other people's audiences by hosting a summit or some other kind of collaborative event. And those are your big lead gen anchors. But if you want to cash inject in the next 30 days, you're going to have to go and do this, this work yourself because you don't have enough time to pull in speakers plus events plus connection plus all this other stuff that leads to sales. So when we're in the academy, for any of you who are coming in to do the academy, we start next week. Yes, we are going to put three main summits as big lead gen anchors on your schedule for the next six months. And then I'm going to teach you a very similar process to what I'm teaching you today 
I mean, we already talked a lot about how virtual events, virtual events are actually like the attraction piece. You can have lead generators and then you have the nurturing convert events on the other side because that strengthens the connection, strengthens the relationship, allows people to say, yes, I'm interested in that particular thing, which leads strategically to your offers. So this isn't rocket science. I want you guys, my background was in commercial insurance sales. So I was making six figures before I was 30 in the old boys club. Like I literally worked my way from answering phones and filing on Saturdays in every single seat to get to where I got to. And I just didn't want to live in that world anymore where I was so burnt out and so stressed out. And then when I came into online business, I just thought, oh, this is great. Breath of fresh air, traction marketing. I can just sit at home and the money will roll in. Right. And all of us, if we've thought that have quickly learned that that is not the case. So I had to go back to a lot of my old school sales routes, which were to go and actually build relationships, find new people, start that flow. And the thing is, is that once you're in momentum and you're working with people, it's easy for them to refer other people in. It's easier for you to gather testimonials and social proof that helps strengthen your online marketing strategy. So all of the things that I'm going to teach you in the academy are all leading towards you not having to do this like old school. I call it old school because it really is like pounding the pavement and actually making some things happen by taking specific action. Hopefully this is making sense and you're following me on this. But when I say old school, I don't mean like used car salesman tactics. I mean, getting down to the real work where you actually go connect with the right people or enough people to find the right people within those. And then you really start to study and take a look at what those people want, what they're struggling with, and what you can actually solve for them so that your online marketing becomes stronger and stronger and stronger. And eventually you have your messaging dialed in and your offers dialed in and your client work dialed in so much that it's almost like the snowball just rolls down the hill by itself but everybody's teaching that the snowball rolls down the hill by itself just by signing up to a program. And I'm saying, how about if you sign up for a program for once that actually gets you to do the real work that will lead you to that place. So that's why I always tell everyone, like, I'm not going to promise you 60 K in 60 days. Some of you could hit that depending on what your offers are and your confidence and your experience. Some of you are just starting out brand new and have never even signed a client before. It doesn't matter. The process is still the same. Some of you are in here and you're like, I've been in business for five years and I have built a huge audience and I cannot get them to buy. I just don't understand what I'm doing wrong. And it's like, okay, perfect. How many of them have you actually talked to? And I don't mean that in like a, you know, smart ass way. I just mean legitimately, because I usually ask people, how many people have you talked to in the last 30 days that would be potential ideal clients? And most people will say, well, I haven't talked to anybody or I've talked to one or two. Like, that is not the way to mail your messaging or your offers or to sell your stuff. You have to get in touch with real people. Sales and online business is still a people business. And if you're a coach or service-based entrepreneur, then you understand that you are there to serve people, right? So yes, we get excited about the big vision of what our dreams can become, but then we also have to get really realistic and grounded about what it is that it takes to actually sell to somebody. Because they're a person on the other side with a life, with a family, with a, you know, with the same kind of excitement about their future or their life or where they're at, they want the same things as you. They're just trying to make the best decisions for themselves. So it's your job to make sure that you are delivering what they actually want. And in the background, knowing that what they need is probably even more than that, but you can't serve them until they're in your world. So is that making sense? You guys give me a little bit of feedback. You can nod your head if it's making sense. Yes? Okay, cool. Um, okay, so this light is so bright right behind here. I have to try to turn this down. There, that's better. Okay, so that's that's my rant. That's covering a little bit of the mindset stuff. I can give you strategy right now, but I'm going to tell you right now that I can give you all the steps and all the strategy in the world, but if you don't, believe that it will work for you, then you will never a take the steps and you will never show up with the energy that will actually make it happen. 
So I saw a really great quote yesterday from one of my favorite speakers on my summits and her name is Ryan Dowdy. And she used to be like hardcore old school sales strategy, you know, and now she's shifted into something where it's like, we need to just focus on the basics of old school, which was building the relationships and the foundations. And I totally agree with that. I think her and I have a very similar story when it comes to our corporate backgrounds. Um, But she said yesterday, what if what you're doing is working? And the only part that's missing is the fact that you don't think it's, or you don't believe it's working. And I thought, that's kind of a mouthful. And, and I read it a couple of times and I was like, holy crap. This is what happens to so many of us in online business. We go out and we chase a new strategy and it doesn't work. And we think, shit, that didn't work. And we go chase something else. And then we think, shit, that didn't work. And we go chase something else. And we end up ping ponging all over the freaking place. And this is what I mean too. If you're not clear about where you're heading and you're not committing to one direction until successful, like strategy wise too, then it's very hard for any kind of ideal client in the audience to be watching and following along and trusting you that you're going to stay consistently with something because you're ping ponging around and you're, and you're always talking about something different, talking about a different offer, talking about some, you know, like they can tell you're just in kind of sporadic all over the place energy. What you need to do is get really clear on what it is that you actually want to do and then build content and stuff around that for sure. But like, who are you? What do you know for sure? What do you know for sure you can help somebody with? Like, let's start there. Everything else can expand afterwards. So I think it's really important for you to understand that if you don't believe that you can sign whatever number of clients that you want to have as your personal goal for the next 30 days, that's fine. I think it's very realistic with this step-by-step process that I'm going to give you to, to think that you could sign five. But if you don't believe that that's true for you, then put the number at two. And if you believe that you can crush that, then put the number at 10. You know what I mean? Like what you believe is what you will create. So we have to really get solid with that. If you believe you can't, then you can't. We hear this all the time. If you believe you can, then you can. But now we have to back that up with strategy and action, right? That's just the mindset piece. That's the beginning. But that's that's the okay, now are you going to sit on the couch and eat a sandwich about those five clients or are you actually going to go out and do something about it, right? Okay, so can you, can't you? Not the question. Will you or won't you? That becomes the new question. Um, Strategy. I'm going to make this really simple. We're going to break this down into weeks because that's a 30 day strategy for you. So this is 30 day cash injection for you, for your business. And the goal is five clients, five new clients in your business. So it doesn't matter whether you've never signed a client before or whether you have a huge audience, but you can't sell consistently. It doesn't matter. This process is going to be the exact same for all of you. Each one of you is going to be at a different place in terms of, do I have anyone watching me in my audience right now? so that I can start there with going and connecting and asking questions. And that's fine. If you don't have anybody, then you have to go to a cold DM strategy to do market research first. Now, if you haven't been in the breakthrough challenge this whole week, I teach DM strategy never as a cold pitch. Never, never, never. You're not trying to make small talk with people to try to get them into it. You're just going to go straight at them with market research help questions. You're going to say, hey, I've got something coming. This is where this week, end of week three. I've got this thing, XYZ, that I'm, that I'm hosting in a couple of weeks. And I, would, I think you're someone who would be like my ideal client or you're similar to somebody that I would normally invite to something like this. Would you mind if I helped you? Or would you mind, I can't even talk today, Prego brain. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions just so that I make sure that what I'm delivering at that event, that masterclass, that workshop, that whatever makes sense for the people who come. So you're already stating your intention, asking for permission to ask questions. And then you're just leaving it out there in a non-aggressive, non-cold pitchy way. And the majority of the time I get responses back. I just had another one on LinkedIn this morning that said, hey, I really appreciate your direct approach, sir. I'd love to help. What do you need? Literally, I get those messages every single day in my DMs. 
because I'm choosing to be a real person and reach out and not be like, oh my gosh, pull up your social, social media account right now. If you've been in business for any amount of time and go and look at all the freaking random cold pitch crap messages that you get all the time. Hey, how are you today? Tell me more about your business. Um, let's like, I could literally open my, let's do this just as a fun exercise. Let's open my Instagram right now. I'm sure you guys have the exact same crap messages. And this is what they say. Hi, Mara, love your content and really wanted to like everything you have posted. Hope you're having a great day. I wanted to pop into your DMs to let you know how much I'm appreciating what you're putting out and doing in the world. I'm a business coach and this is actually not a bad one, but I still would never respond to this. I'm, now she jumps into what she wants, right? I'm a business coach for female founders guiding them and scaling their online empires. We put out a ton of complimentary content, blah, 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 blah. We'd love to have you in, um, blah, 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 blah. Please drop some love in the comments when you join, blah, 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 blah. It's just like, now I'm pregnant and I'm about to have a baby. So I'm very like low on the filter these days, but I'm just like, dude, this did not say anything to me about, Hey, can I, can I please ask you a couple questions or, Hey, I saw that, you know, I actually read one of your posts and I love that you talk about this specifically. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about, you know, the type of clients that you serve or anything that is actually more personalized is better than this. Then here's some other ones. These are my favorites too. Hi, Mara. Not sure if this is for you or not, but look at, can you guys see this? Hey, Mara. See how that one is? Oh my gosh. See how that one is a separate bubble? So they have copy paste messages ready to go. And they only personalized it by saying, hey, Mara, which means they couldn't even click into the copy paste message when they pasted it in Instagram and add my name. That's so lazy to me. <laughs> And then they go, not sure if this is for you or not, but I just did a free training, the client generator machine, 22 minutes, minute crash course where I walk people through the exact steps, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, almost everyone needs more leads, blah, 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 blah. Just let me know and I'll send it over. Like, it's just so, and then a couple of days later, another message, because I didn't respond. Let me know if this is something you'd like to check out. And then two more days later, just bringing this up to the top of your inbox. I know how crazy it can get in there. Ha ha. Okay. I'm not going to keep going because I could literally read 25 of those kinds of messages today, but see how there is literally zero reason for me to actually answer that. So there's a big difference between getting into a DM strategy. I want to get this really, really clear because I am going to tell you to DM and reach out and connect with a whole bunch of people in the next 30 days. That is the 100% the goal, 100% the strategy, 100% everything that we're going to do because you need to create some kind of a spark and some momentum in your business, but not like that. You are literally going out to ask people week one. It's all about connections and market research. Okay. Now this is what I'm teaching inside of the Academy. You guys probably have already recognized some of this, but when you go out and reach out to do market research, it is a completely different ask. It is a completely different invite and you get a totally different type of person responding to you if you do it the right way. Okay, so I don't want you thinking like, hi, my name is, you know, whoever. And I think that you need this and this. And it's like half the time you're like, wait, like just because I'm a mom, you decided that I needed the, like, this is another good one. The anti, uh, what, what was the one the other day? It was like, um, we thought, we thought we'd send you an invite to our super something, something about how to fight depression as a mom. And I was like, well, did you even ask me if I'm depressed first? Like shit, man, you know, like stop DMing people with graspy, gross, everything about you energy. Nobody wants that. I'm going to teach you how to connect and do market research first. So the goal is going to be to reach out to 10 people every single day for the first week. Week one, 10 people a day, reach outs properly, done properly, not this crap. If you're a keener and you want more than two clients, 
probably going to want to reach out to more than 10. But also, if you're doing it, I would split it between a couple different platforms. So if you're doing like 10 a day on Instagram, 10 a day on Facebook, or 10 a day on LinkedIn, or whatever, whatever your platform favorites are, I would spread them out just because you don't want Instagram thinking that you're sending out copy paste messages because they do actually just like whatever slow down or they don't deliver or whatever like it's a it's just because there's so many people pitching like this crap in the dms so they're trying to which is fair okay so week one is literally going to be about connecting and market research because if you don't know yet what your event is that you're going to host you will by the end of this week you're going to decide today what kind of an event you want to host it's going to be very simple it's going to be a master class a workshop or a challenge doesn't matter to me and you're going to have three bullet points that you're going to cover, but something that leads towards an offer that you know that you can sell an easy yes offer. This doesn't have to be a big, huge signature program. This doesn't have to be anything. If you already have a signature program and you just want to get some butts in those seats. Awesome. If you're at a place where you haven't even sold anything yet, then we need to pick an offer that you're going to lead people towards and you're going to go for it. Either way, it doesn't matter. Process is exactly the same cash injection. Okay, so week two is going to be all about promoting and inviting. These two. So what does that mean? That means if you have an audience already, you're going to start promoing it, regardless of whether you have an audience already. You are going to start promoing this on social media, right, so that you have that presence so that it looks like you actually are hosting an event to everyone in the world. Because don't forget, when you start to connect with people, they're going to start watching you on your social. So we have to reach out to enough people that enough people are going to start watching you. And then don't forget, you're going to continue the relationship in the DMs because some of these people are going to be ideal clients who are literally swimming towards you. And you would have never known that if you hadn't reached out to them. Now, we are not looking to sell to these people. This is, this is the hardest part for people to understand about my DM strategy. We are literally, some of them, yes, are going to come into your world and end up coming to your event and buying from you. That's inevitable just because of stats. But that is not the goal. The goal is to connect and do market research so that we have the words to pull in more people. So if you already have an audience build, built, this can it can seem like, okay, yeah, but they've never bought from me before. Okay, so I want to point this out. Side note. Some of you are sitting there thinking, well, I don't have an audience yet, so that's not really going to work for me. But then the ones who have an audience who haven't been able to convert are thinking the opposite. Like, well, yeah, but I have an audience, but they've never converted before. Why would they convert now? So don't, don't lie to yourself or don't fool yourself into thinking that you need to have an audience or that you have to have X, Y, Z for this strategy to work. Because I'm telling you that this is the real work that will actually go out and build clients for you. But the reason that I don't teach this as a strategy long term is because it's a lot of work and it's exhausting, right? This is a hustle season is what I'm teaching you in a 30 days. This is a sprint, right? The, the whole strategy that I taught you for the Ambitious Academy and the whole, the whole six-figure event strategy is so that you don't have to go hustle like this all the time, right? But if you want a cash injection in your business, then you got to get a freaking spark lit. You know, you got to get that momentum rolling. So you're going to have to go out and do the real work. And if you're not prepared to do the real work and you want to keep downloading freebies and going to people's, you know, free things that they're going to teach you magic strategies that don't actually work, then that is 100% up to you. But if you're in a place where you're like, no, I'm ready to do the real work now. I see how a process like this would start to give me the right information that I need to go market online properly, right? This is the shortcut. This is the magic solution. It's just that people don't frame it that way because it feels hard because you've never done it before. But Ella, I know you've been watching for a while. So what was the number one thing? Do you remember the other day when we did the reach out strategy for market research? The number one thing everyone said that did that homework that day was what? so easy right yes she's on mute she's like yeah so every single person that did the work that day in the challenge what day was that you can go back into the days for anyone who hasn't caught replays of this challenge they're still available until tuesday tuesday is when we start the ambitious academy um but all of the stuff that i taught this week is priceless if you're ready to do the real work in your business 
and everyone that did the homework, go look at the Facebook Live thread. Um, and they all said, I can't believe how easy that was once I actually started doing it. So market research and these reach outs, this connection and market research, that reach out piece feels awful because you have been reached out to a hundred times a day, it feels like the wrong way. And I'm going to teach you how to do it the right way so that people actually respond to you. It's like, it's not about having a magic solution. It's about being a real person. End of story. Okay. So week one, you're going to connect at least 10 people a day. I would do 20. I mean, I'm, I like to run. So when I hit stuff hard, I, I like to hit it really hard. So I would do at least, at least 10 a day. I would go week two, you are continuing to reach out in the DMs, especially if you don't have an audience. But if you do have an audience already, then you might have already gotten into 10 or 20 conversations, right? The goal is to get into the goal is to get into at least 10 conversations minimum in the DMs with people who are like, yeah, sure, I'd love to answer those questions. And then you find at least 10 conversations that actually will give you the words that you're looking for and what you want. Now, the next week, if you find in all these reach outs, let's say 10, maybe 20, if you're really working it, 10 or 20 people who are interested in this kind of stuff. Now, the next week, when you go to promo, you can also just invite them in. Hey, just so you know, I, I am hosting that masterclass on the, whatever the date is at the end of week three, Thursday, let's call it whatever day. Um, and you're going to say, I think you might find it helpful. If you're interested, let me know and I can send you the link. So you're asking for permission again. Hey, thought of you, created the thing, going to be releasing it right away. Wanted to invite you, thought it would help, right? That's a very different invite into, into your event than cold pitching somebody. I mean, that's just a pitch and run. If you're cold DMing somebody about a Facebook group or an event that you have coming up without actually knowing anything about them, that's just rude. Like, and it's also just a waste of your time. So don't do that. Don't pay people to do that for you either. It's just a waste of time. Even the people who think that strategy works, I always think, well, who are the people that are actually responding to that though? Like if you want quality people coming into your world, don't focus on just the numbers, focus on the, the quality of lead that's coming in. Are you actually going to want to work with that person? You know, do they actually need what you're offering? Or are they just excited about, you know, not having to do any work or something, you know? Anyway, so week two and three is all about continuing to connect with your community. Now you can do some, maybe you want to do some live videos. Maybe you want to do some, um, it just depends if you have an email list built or you want to just show up consistently on social media, but also if you don't have an audience built, you want to keep connecting in the DMs all the way through till you find enough people to invite who want to come to your Nurture and Convert event. This is not rocket science, and I promise you that it works if you actually go do the real work. And you've got to step out of your head about all the reasons why it can't work for you because it's those are just thoughts you're choosing to tell yourself. So if you get past that stuff and you say, no, I can do anything for 30 days, we can all do that. This is the Ambitious Moms community. Like all of us can do hard things for 30 days. We do it all the time. That's, but again, this is a 30 day hustle strategy so that you start unlocking these pieces for your business so that you don't have to hustle all the time. Okay. And then week four is going to be So this is where we take the pressure off of the pitch at the event. You don't even have to pitch at the event. You can just say at the end, hey, if you feel like this is the kind of stuff you want to talk about, or this is the kind of help you need, or blah, 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 then jump on a free consult call or a clarity call or a whatever kind of call you want it to be the next week. And let's chat about your specific situation, some version of that. So you don't have to create an event that has all the bells and whistles, right? I always say, don't get fancy, get focused. What do you need? You need to get into as many conversations with potential ideal clients as possible in order to make this happen. This whole process just lays out you stepping up to actually take the swing so that you can hit a home run. You cannot hit a home run if you do not step up to the plate, right? We all know this and yet we all overthink it. 
have to learn more, need to know more, need to, right? We make up all these excuses. I'm not ready for this. I, ha I have more mindset work to do. I have, you know, all these reasons why this isn't going to work for me right now. And it's like, well, you can keep telling yourself that, or you can just decide to do the work. And I really honestly mean that in the best way possible, because until I got really honest with myself in this business, I already knew how to sell when I was younger. I knew how to work a list. I knew how to follow up with people. I knew how to build relationships. And I decided to try to do this like magical secret attraction marketing thing online. And like, I put out great content. If you guys have been watching me for a while, I feel like my content's pretty good, but it doesn't just convert people off the internet. And you are finding the exact same thing. Otherwise you wouldn't be at the business breakthrough challenge, right? So what do we need to do? We need to build an audience, right? I talked about this for till I was blue in the face. And now I'm going to talk about it again. We have to build an audience. Well, if you need to build an audience in the next 30 days, then you have to go connect with people. You cannot get around it. There is, I mean, even if you wanted to run a serious ad campaign for the next three weeks, you still don't have your messaging dialed in yet. You don't know your ideal client well enough. And that's just the reality of the situation. Don't feel bad about it. None of us know that crap. Um, do you recommend a live event or it can be pre-recorded? I recommend live 100%, especially when you're starting. When you have your stuff dialed in, this is like another, another thing. People think it's easier to do a pre-recorded thing, but you can't, you can't ebb and flow. You can't read the room. You can't read somebody's body language. Like I can see you right now. That's why it's easy for me to, to know if you're nodding or not. You know what I mean? It is hard to know what kind of a pre-recorded thing to create for somebody if you've never even gone through the process of working with clients before. That's not to say that you can't do it, but I personally think until you have your flow, your process, my whole thing about the Ambitious Academy is learning how to figure out your flow and your sales process, your way. And so I believe that the fastest way to get there is to do live things because it allows you to talk to real people. And there's going to be a ton of the follow-up piece. It's going to be, oh, I know you didn't make it to the live because literally it's just straight up industry stats. The majority of people will watch your stuff on replay, especially if you're dealing with moms, which is my whole bread and butter. Um, but you still want to try to get as many butts to the live events as you can, because you can do real work, like right in those, you know, right in that container with them and other people can hear that too. So they see what you're offering, what your style is. Like there's so many advantages to that. So I, I love live events for that reason. Um, and then you can, cause you can always also use those as like assets later on, if you have the recording, that you can say, hey, I did this great training on XYZ. I think that would actually be helpful for you. Let me know if you want me to send it over to you and I'll get you the link. And then you send it over to them with the YouTube link or whatever you want to do, right? You can create those assets for yourself to use over and over again. But you don't, don't get so far ahead of yourself that you're thinking of like all these things that you can create that you can put into this thing or create a course or this. Like you got to know how to sell to your people first. And if you don't even know what your people want yet because you haven't actually talked to them, then you're just guessing. And that's where everyone's going wrong in online marketing. If you're guessing, you, you're losing. And it's hard. It's a harsh reality, but it's true. So does this make sense the way I've laid it out? Okay, so a lot of this is going to be DM strategy because you need to get into a place where you know who you're talking to, you know what they want, and you know how to sell it to them. And that is going to come by doing. Remember the girl guides, like learn to do by doing? I was a girl guide. <laughs> we had to put up our little fingers. Learn to do by doing. This is exactly the same principle. You have to learn to do this by doing. You can't just sit behind your computer and hope that somebody somewhere is going to come across your Instagram profile and see the light because that is not a sure thing. This is how you control your destiny. The other way is it's just the flukes. It's the would be nice, right? We got to get super realistic and honest with ourselves about this stuff. Okay, so the goal is to get into as many conversations as possible. A lot of you, for example, on this challenge have already been in conversations with me, either on a game plan call, which I'm going to tell you about again in a second, or in the DMs. Either way, you have been able to get my eyes or my ears on your business 
on in some capacity. And that helps me to sell, obviously, because of course I'm selling spots in my ambitious academy, but it also allows me to serve. I'm gonna just do a new page for a sec here. It allows me to serve first before expecting anything in return. Okay, we can call this the DM strategy, but basically what you're going to do is there's four parts to this. You're going to connect, you're going to invite somebody into your world, you're going to serve them first, then you're going to follow up to find out what it is that they need. Because if somebody does not need your program or doesn't need whatever offer you're selling right now, maybe there's something else you can offer them if that's a better fit. Like I just signed a one-on-one -on -one client because she was like, she came in through the big breakthrough challenge and was like, this is awesome. I love this, but I don't, I don't know if I need the program, but I just want to work with you. And I'm like, okay, well, let's talk about that. And it was awesome. It worked out great for both of us. And now we're working together already one-on-one. -on -one. Um, so that stuff will happen, but it would never happen if I hadn't created some sort of an anchor event that I pulled her to, right. And then over served her in the DMS. And then when she was like, yeah, I got to, we got to like, you know, this has happened to me a lot of times where people are like, I just got to know how to, how do we keep this going? Like, how do we work together? You know? And I'll say, well, you know, like, let's talk about it because some people don't, some people might not want the exact, like Ella, some people might not want the exact design package that you've laid out perfectly on a beautiful sales page. Some people might just want you to come in and build something else for them. And you'll say, yeah, no problem. I can build a custom package for you. But you would never get the opportunity to have that conversation with somebody if you weren't in conversation with them. <laughs> so conversations, so important. First, we connect, then we invite, invite them into something like, hey, I have this event coming up. I think it would be a good fit for you. Let me know if you're interested. You know, then you're going to show up to the event and then you're going to serve the crap out of them. Right. Then you're going to follow up to see if you could help move them forward in their specific situation and find out if it's a fit for you guys to work together. And if you get into enough conversations, then this never feels like grabby energy. When you follow up with somebody afterwards and they don't get back to you, you don't take it personally because you are already in 10 or 15 other conversations. And maybe that person just actually had something go sideways with their kid that day or you know, some, a family member, something happened with their family. You know, you don't take it personally if you're in enough conversations, but you do get into graspy energy and grabby energy and nobody wants to buy from that person if you only have one or two people to talk to. That's why it's so important to go do enough reach outs and enough connections that you have enough people to invite, that you have enough people to come in and serve and connect with here so that by the time you get to your follow-up stage, you're not literally depending, betting the whole farm on this one lady that you want to sell this package to or whatever. You know what I mean? Like you, you gotta, you gotta set yourself up and control your own destiny when it comes to your, how many people you have coming in and how many conversations you're having so that you're never in that desperate energy. Well, that's another good old Mara scribble fest. <laughs> Does anyone have any questions? Kept it under an hour. I think I'm doing pretty good. Just drop them into the chats. Or if you're watching the replay, drop them into the chats and I'll come back. Um, if you're on YouTube, a lot of you I see have been watching actually more on YouTube than on Facebook. It's kind of funny. Everybody's shifting in the world right now. Don't forget that lots of your people are shifting. So, you know, pay attention, but talk to them and find out where they're, where they're at, how they like to learn. But again, those don't happen unless you're in conversation with people. Um, so if you are watching the replay on Facebook live then drop them into the chats there, if you're watching on YouTube, just get into my Instagram DMS or Facebook, whatever into the DMS is the fastest way to me. So I just want to recap this. This is a cash injection strategy. This is a hustle and grind it out kind of a strategy but never making somebody else feel like a cold, pitchy, gross vibe. This is just a matter of if you want to get serious about signing clients in the next 30 days, we have to figure out who it is that you want to talk to. And even if you don't know that, it will become so much clearer, so much faster if you start talking to real people. And you are not going to do it in a salesy, gross, pitchy way. So nobody is going to think badly about you. So get that out of your head if that's still in your head. 
I'm going to teach you how to connect and do market research properly so that you start to know exactly who it is you want to pull in, exactly what they're saying they're struggling with or want, so that you can pull them to some sort of a looking glass event or they get to come in, you know, like the shop windows. They look, get to look through the shop windows to see what kind of a service provider or coach you are, what your vibe is, what your style is, whether you're genuine or not. I mean, this all matters in the online space where trust has been completely destroyed by so many people who have taken advantage of other people. So you're going to come in here, you're going to host an event. You're going to use this little event as your anchor for this whole process. Because it's easy to say, hey, I'm hosting a masterclass for other, you know, moms or whoever, whatever your, your specialty is, like whoever your people are. Um, I would just love to pick your brain if you have a couple minutes. I have four questions. I just want to make sure that the content that I'm delivering is going to be helpful or the, like, we have to find the words that make sense for you, for your, your market. Um, but it's very easy to do. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to host a little event. It's going to be super simple. Three bullet points is all you're going to cover. And your CTA at the end is not going to be some kind of crazy fancy pitch. It's going to be a call to action to get onto another a call with you. So right now I'm going to do that. I'm going to say, Hey, I have these game plan calls. I'll pull up my calendar link. I'm going to drop it in here for you. And I'm going to say, let me dive into your business with you because everyone is in a little bit of a different place. Game plan call. And I'm also going to email this out with the replay. So if you're watching the replay, um, it will be it will be messaged out. Now, I'm about to have a baby, so time is of the essence, literally. So I'm going to open up my calendar right after this for um, Sunday as well, just because I'll have Sunday and Monday and the rest of today. But honestly, book a game plan call or just jump into my DMs because I can, I can voice note you back and forth very easily in the DMs um, to help you figure out exactly what step you need to take first. So this is the process the action steps that you need to follow. But do you even know who you want to talk to, where to find them, what kind of offer you want to sell? Like you, you need to get into that kind of space first too. So if you don't have offers that you already have kind of ready in your head, then we're going to create one or two max easy yes offers that you know you could go sell if you were talking to the right person. And you're going to stop second guessing yourself and you're going to stop being scared and you're going to stop saying the DM strategy doesn't work or that it won't work for you because it absolutely will. And you're going to anchor it with a simple virtual event, which is the easiest thing in the world to run. You can have a Facebook event if you want to anchor people to, or you can literally just do it yourself and keep track. I mean, do you have hundreds or thousands of people that are going to register for this thing in the next 30 days? No, you can just keep track of it on a piece of paper if you want to write them down. You know what I mean? Like you, you don't have to make it complicated. This can be really easy. You don't need software. You don't need a whole bunch of crazy stuff. You just need to give a crap about real people and find out what it is that they're looking for and then deliver it here and then see if they're fit to work together based on what you know you can help somebody with. Okay, so please stop over complicating this. This literally, you could be in a completely different place in your business 30 days from now. And I'm going to tell you something else. Worst case scenario, you go out and connect with 30 real people in the next three weeks because you're, you're aiming towards this event and you don't sign five clients, but now you have major momentum built, right? You're, you're heading down the track. You're seeing the snowball start to pick up. Like that is priceless. And so everybody wants this magic freaking answer and solution. This is not a cash machine. You have to go out and talk to real people. You have to go and get into this space. If, if I lead you through this whole process and you get to your event and you book a bunch of calls and you get into these real conversations with these people and you don't have the confidence to actually make an offer, then I can't guarantee that you're going to sign five clients out of this. Do you know what I'm saying? You have to show up and do the real work. And if you are scared, then you have to ask for help. The whole thing about, hi, the whole thing about doing this stuff with support is so that you don't have to do it alone or be scared because this online world feels like a very lonely sport a lot of the time, which is why we pay for mentorship and pay for support and pay for accountability. Anybody can give you the strategy for this stuff. You might've seen some version of this before, but do you need a coach that's going to help you move through this? Because that's what I'm here to do. And I'm not a pitchy, salesy, whatever. So please get into my DMs and ask me legit questions. I've said this all week. I'm coaching for free in the DMs all week during this challenge. So definitely ask me your questions. 
tell me where you're stuck. Tell me where you're scared. Tell me what's going on for you. I want to know these things because it allows, it helps me with my own market research so that I can create better content and better events for you too. You know what I mean? So it's everybody wins when you get into real dialogue with people. So definitely jump in. Let's, let's chat this weekend. Um, and for those of you who are already ready to dive into the academy, it's a, it's a six month program. It's 11, 11 a month. So you have to come in by next Tuesday with your 11, 11, and let's get started. We're going to do this exact strategy. If this is where you are to start. And we are going to put your three big summits in place. If you haven't seen the rest of the videos, just message me and ask me which ones you should go watch based on where you're at of this challenge. Um, or just get into the conversation with me and find out where you're at. I want to help you build your audience and nurture and convert clients into your offers. Because at the end of the day, all of us want freedom, which means we need consistent sales, predictable income, but a process so that we can repeat that, right? And that's exactly what I'm teaching. This is not the no be the, the the fluffy BS crap way to magically manifest a thousand million clients in four days. This is doing the real work that moves the needle in your business so that you know exactly who your ideal client is. You know how to put out the messaging that converts her. You know how to put out the offers that she actually wants to buy that you also want to sell. I call that the X factor where they intersect is your sweet spot. This stuff is, it's not rocket science. It's a process and you have to go through it and you have to experience it. And then it all comes together. So hopefully that's helpful, ladies. I'm going to sign off. Thanks for coming. Nice to see you all. Um, and definitely just jump into my DMs with where you're at and let's move you forward. Have a good one. Cheers.